All right, today we're gonna get something fixed that I needed to get fixed for a while, which is my fuel level sensor. It's been showing my fuel has been on zero fuel for a long time, and it's been driving me nuts. And Steve, the guy who did all, does all my work, same guy who's gonna be in this, uh, hasn't been able to do it, he's been busy, and he's been working, so today, finally, we got a chance to uh, drive down to a shop, and he's gonna have to drop the gas tank and change the fuel level sensor. Uh, I didn't want to, I didn't change the whole fuel pump, but all he needs is a sensor. I got it from Mopar because, um, let's see if I can show it to you just the sensor on the video. Here's the sensor. I'll show you more of it when I'm not driving down there. But yeah, it's, it, it'll show sometimes that the fuel level is at zero, even though I know I just filled it. And usually when I just fill it though, it'll show I have a full tank. And when I go down maybe 20, 30 miles, boom, check engine line will pop on, go down to zero. It even pop up on my dash saying fuel sensor fail. So today we're gonna get that fixed. I got the sensor. That should be no more of an issue. It's been going on for about a year, and this is only the first time it's really showing no fuel. Once in a blue moon, the check engine light will pop on, but the gas gauge will still be right. So after today, and this is all fixed and said and done, fuel will be good. And we can get this all, uh, this truck will be no check engine lights or nothing. That's the only one that's been popping on. And I'll be very happy. My hammer's very good. Very nice. Steve took the gas tank out before I got a chance to do any, you know, video of this and make a little video on it. That's Steve. what fucking happened. Yeah, no, I mean, I sit down for a second. I look over, it's down. Very nice. Not my Good job, buddy. <laughs> do something. Fixing my truck for me again, huh? As usual. I mean, is it better than working in my driveway for putting the tranny in? You'll never be able to pay me back for that. <laughs> never. Oh. Forgot how much this sucked. Before we lose a gas tank, I'm fucking smacking this ring off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not fun. You've never had it happen to you. I don't suggest trying. I uh, smack it real hard and all of a sudden it goes flying? Yeah, but yeah. I, I don't feel like losing a gas tank today. Yeah, I don't either. You have to be putting a Toyota one in, right? No, I can't guarantee it's not going to rust. <laughs> Everything here is rusted. Big time. You should see the work he's doing over here. On this vehicle. Whole new frame because it's a piece of junk Toyota. As you guys don't know, I'm refreshing the fuel level sensor because half the time it says I have no fuel. And I'll show you what the new one looks like. Right here. This is the part rubs out supposedly this metal connection is not connecting I'm gonna see what it looks like on the old one compared to the new one yeah Steve I tried to come with as little as gas as possible for you buddy yeah we'll see how that works yeah I said as little as gas you know I had to come with some gas And the fuel pump is already out. That's good 93, dude. Don't be smelling that. Oh, I'm <laughs> trying to save it. <laughs> huh. Don't you love the smell of gas? I can barely fucking smell it, so that's... Really? Oh yeah, you can see the line right where the fucking. Huh. Yeah. And Look at that. It wears, it wears right the through. shit out of it. Yeah, so you're right having there. a problem about half tank, right? Yep. Yeah, right here. That's exact. That's where see the worst was. Yep. 
And yeah. full, it looks the best, probably, because it's le it's not always full. With your flood, I can't imagine that not being true. And the funniest thing is, yo, when I was driving back and forth to New York, I was getting 19 and a half miles per gallon. Great gas when you don't stomp on it. I imagine that. I did lose a little bit when I got the stall, though. The cam, not so much. The stall, I did lose a little bit of uh, miles per gallon. Yeah, that's when it sucks. But cam, it was around the same. You can tell me I have to wire it in. Steve, you gotta wire it in. I think it's just a connection, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. You shouldn't gotta, I don't think you have to splice anything or nothing, right? Yeah. All right. Better than buying a whole new fuel pump. Don't worry. You'll be up. You'll be, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be while we were in here. Yeah, we cut off and then been ready for the for the you know what. I don't know what. No, no one knows what. Exactly the point, right? Exactly. Pass it to you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay. Dude, I turned my phone off for a second. He fucking goes even faster. Come on, Steve. Yeah, it's because you get impatient. Yeah, wait for me to do the little things. I'll wait for you to do the little I want you to just... You don't got to wait for me, dude. You know that already. Yeah. You do, huh? I'm not Rory. <laughs> you work, bro. We went there, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not... You... If I don't get it on camera, that's my fault. <laughs> I don't have an eight-hour live stream of doing a cam. Quite frankly, I don't want it. Yeah. He had like four. He had four cameras on you the whole time while you're already working. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't. You know. It is what it is. And then I can't even break balls. Nah. Well, guys, I would say this is how you drop a gas tank, but Steve did it so fast, I didn't record it. <laughs> but that is how you replace a, uh, a fuel pump, so, well, not exactly, but you saw what it's done, what it entails. That's how you replace a fuel sensor. I got that. That's the main part of this video. Word of advice, you can't base my work times off of flat rate time. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, yeah, hey, we'll get the video, we'll show it. Oh, wait, it's down? <laughs> yeah. Well, everyone, he's just going to put everything back up, load it up, and it's good to go. Here's the old one. i can just show you guys where it was worn out at. Oh, yeah. Let's get out in the sun. Maybe you can see a little better. See the line? It's worn out right in the middle there, all over the place. And a brand new one from Mopar, obviously. And that's it. Won't have any problems for, you know, hopefully for good. Well, Steve, you're finishing up. Actually, I think you're done now. Yeah, I'm done. Oh, my. Look, see? Yeah, I seriously whipped it out. Wait, wait. And he's done. All right, sorry for I'm not showing you how to do everything, but I did show you how to put a fuel level sensor on. Well, he did, but that's basically it. That was quick. What was that, 15 minutes? That was probably 15 minutes, I'll say, yes. Dealership charges, uh... About two and a half hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Steve, of course, thank you again for everything. No everything you've done on this truck, which is a lot. Which is most of the work. Except for the control arms. Yeah, the I core. think I see this truck, and I know this truck better than the truck I own. Oh, you definitely know this truck better than day. your truck. You know this truck great. <laughs> well, yeah. That white ram probably can't see it in the video. 
Steve has his own. Uh... You need to tell him the secret. I know. Yes, of course he drives a Ram, and yes, he does work at a Toyota dealer. He's a Ram Master Tech. He has a nice Ram. This thing's beautiful. It's like mint condition, low mileage, 2017, 392 gears, quad cab, two wheel drive. He's got a lot of plans for it, but working on my truck all the time. Hey, it's how it goes. But I'm glad he fixed my fuel level sensor. Say one thing, I did clean this the other day. It looks good. Shiny. All right, this is why I go to Steve to get my shit done. And he had it done in probably 20 minutes, I would say, would be tops. 20, he had the gas tank drop so quick. That's why I didn't fuck with, I didn't try doing it myself. I wanted him to do it. He did it in 20 minutes and I'm out of here. I actually sat there and waited longer for him to work on the vehicle he was working on than actually him doing mine, which is great. Now it's fixed. I ain't got to worry about it. Brand new fuel level sensor. It's working. I'm a happy man. Trucks, no check engine lights. Everything's good. Went to the track last night. Video's up on that and uh, had a good time. All right, guys. Till the next one. Peace.